uh, look to me. Uh, I come uh, to the park on because to you, right? We have nothing to do with America. We mm. work for the UN, United Nations, and we just help in the elections. That's it. You're not yes. gonna harm us. Yeah, do, no problem. Do you what do you want? Uh, no problem. We go home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are pleased to announce that three UN workers taken hostage 27 days ago have been released safely in our insecure location. We want to first commend, commend the three hostages, Anita Flanagan, Shipi Habibi, and Angelito Nayan for the courage they displayed during their ordeal. Results from a preliminary medical examination show that they appear to be in good health. Habib. They seem to be fine. They seem to be in good spirits, but of course, um, still under the impact of this very tough ordeal of being in captivity for almost a full month. My message to my people is that we are very, very happy, everybody. Congrat uh, congratulations to, to all Albanians in over the world. We have our uh, ship free. Good morning. Uh, well, each of us will make a statement and then we'll... Let me say that I was delighted to hear the news overnight of the release of these three uh, United Nations workers who've been kidnapped and held for quite a period. It'll be a huge relief to them, obviously, and to their families. One of the uh, hostages concerned, Annetta Flanagan, was a British-Irish national. I've been in touch with her family uh, over these recent harrowing weeks, uh, and I know that this will be a tremendous relief to the family, who've been almost to hell and back in their anxiety about what had happened to Annetta. After uh, the first thing I said, I love you, Angelo, and we're proud of you.